Indiana on top by half game over Michigan State, one over Ohio State, and here we go. This will be Carlos Snow, the freshman, bringing it out for Ohio State, and he'll have it out to the 22-yard line. That is Alex Higdon now moving in motion. Tupa, play action fake, rolling on first down to throw. Down here is Everett Ross. He's wide open. Everett Ross to the 15, 10. He is in. Touchdown. On first down, going for Everett, number five, downfield, is not out of the ordinary for Earl Bruce. I don't know what is. 79 yards. Everett Ross, who was out last week due to the concussion he suffered in the Purdue game. And with this game 15 seconds old, the Buckeyes lead it 7-0. Bobby McAllister, you see he's thrown only three touchdown passes. They're last after being first in passing offense a year ago. Cut back by Lorenzo White. And he fumbles the ball. It goes out of bounds, but they're going to lose some yardage on the play a couple of weeks ago. Third down, now 10. McAllister wanting to throw. Sullivan comes storming through. He's got some running room. He's got to get a first down across the 30, 35. And he ad libs his way out to the 38. A great deal or effectively. He's looking downfield for his receivers. He's getting pressure by, by number 67, 67, Mike Sullivan. But one thing about Bobby McAllister is that he likes to run. 18-yard run that time by McAllister. Sets it up with the 38. McAllister on first down. Pressure coming up the middle. He gets it off to his fullback, James Moore. And Moore rambles to the 45. White averages 30 carries a game. He is a workhorse for this Michigan State team. Here's Moore, got a big hole. He's to the 25, to the 20, another first down. They want to have the fullback to have a big day. The two linebackers, middle backers, are going to key on Lorenzo, which means the fullback, James Moore, on belly plays like that, has to have a big day for Michigan State to take pressure off White. They want to feature their fullback more. He's a sophomore out of Lansing. This time, Lorenzo White ducks in, ducks out, and he's dropped at the 18-yard line. Montgomery will hold for Michigan State from the right hash mark. Got enough distance, but the kick is wide of the mark. Long seven to go after this penalty. Receivers wide left and wide right. Tupa back. Good protection. Throws kind of a sidearm flip to Higdon, the tight end. Snap is good from Tom Moore. The kick coming up on the fly is Crum. He's got it to 40, 45, 50. And he's into the Ohio State end of the field at the 47-yard line. Good field position for Michigan State. Second down, 10 now. In motion was Ryzen. McAllister, pressure from Cumro, and cumro has got him. That is his seventh sack. Eric Cumro plays to the weak side. Comes in, you see Bobby Pinkell backing up, looking to his right side the whole way. Just didn't have any time to throw as Kumrow came in. Ross now brings up third down, 19 yards to go for the Spartans. McAllister rolling out. He's got a lot of running room to the 50, 45. He gets out of bounds. It'll be considerably short of the first down. Mario Andretti, big names in that race. Second down. Cooper, the fullback, close to the first down as he bounces out to the 30-yard line. And he has used a three-wide receiver formation already in this ballgame. Just can't trust that guy, can you? Here's Snow trying to get the first down, and he does. Well, he breaks a pair of tackles, gets the first down. Good second effort, got the first down for Ohio State from the 32. Tupa back, scrambling up. He's going to take off, and he takes a real hit. Todd Crum, the free safety up, and popped him there. Third down now, five yards to go for the Buckeyes. Tupa, flag on the play, and almost intercepted by Crum, and Crum has five interceptions this year, almost had that one. Everett Ross, the intended receiver. The snap is perfect, and he hits this one out especially high. Crum has it at the 20-yard line. Good, return to the 35, the 40, and Crum all the way out to the 45-yard line, and again, Michigan State will have excellent field position. Second down, nine. McAllister with time. Now Cumro's coming after him. He spins out of there. Nice move. Look at this athletic move to the 10, 5. McAllister lunging. Touchdown. 
The only thing old-fashioned about this football game is the way they're hitting and blocking. As you watch Bobby McAllister looking downfield, he spins right here, but he's getting a great block by his people downfield. Lorenzo White gives him a key block as he spins here and gets in the end zone to even up this game at seven apiece here in Ohio. With Michigan State. Tupa. To Snow, and Snow for five out to the 25-yard line. Second down, five from the 25-yard line. Snow again, he's in trouble because Mark Nichols, yeah. second team all Big Ten guy, back there to storm him for a loss, back to the 20-yard line. And they're in that slanting position, that former Steeler defense. Back to throw to, but look out, blind side, up the field, and it's intercepted. It is picked off, and that is Crum, and that is his sixth interception of this year. Now watch the pressure he gets on as he comes crashing through in the game shape play from the outside coming underneath. All right, and the pressure, they're just going to make the tackle on Tupa. You see him looping to the outside, the game's underneath. Just as Tupa's about to throw the football, he is hit there from the backside. That results in the ball thrown too high where Crum can make the interception. Hand off to White. There's that cutback ability of the Heisman Trophy candidate. He's very close to a first down as he comes short of the 25-yard line. McAllister, pressure coming. He gets out of it, throws. He's got a man open in the end zone and broken up. Excellent play by Zach Dumas, number 21. One of the things that McAllister hasn't done in the past is start to run and look for a receiver. He gets pressure again for Sullivan, but this time looks up and finds Boyer. It's a good pass. The ball hangs, but number 21, Zach Dumas, comes over. Dumas took over at that short field corner position when Greg Rogan was injured. Lying low to attempt another field goal. He missed a 33 yarder. This is a 40 yard attempt on the way and this time he's got it. So Langlo gives Michigan State their first lead of the game. They lead it 10 to 7. 13 yards to go. 40 seconds left in this first quarter. Rolling out is Tupa. Tupa to Hickton. Hickton makes the catch. He's hit instantly and driven out of bounds by John Miller number 44. Right now, we have a third down, seven yards to go for Ohio State as we start the second quarter. Ten to seven, Michigan State with the lead. Tom Tupo on third down, back to throw. And he's right into the arms of the opponent. And falling down with the ball is Kurt Larson, number three, the junior out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. One wide receiver, Andre Risen to the near side. McAllister rolling this way. Chase is put on by Spielman. He misses him. And McAllister goes out of bounds. There's a flag, a late flag, I think a late hit at the 31. Fred Ritter is over there to make contact. Spielman looked like he was shot out of a cannon over there trying to get to McAllister, and Bobby got away from him. Wide receiver trying to get the isolation. But here is why Spielman is so good. He sees it. Look at the angle he takes. Inside the lead blocker gives himself a shot at Bobby McAllister. The only thing that makes that a bad play for Ohio State is that Bobby McAllister's got the good legs, the good speed, and he just steps out of the tackle. 10 to 7 instead. McAllister again, same play, following his back through, and he has a first down to the five yard line. Ryzen split to the near side. White along with Montgomery in the backfield. Rolling this way, McAllister, Enzo, broken up beautifully. That's William White, number 37 over there. Field goal attempt, 20 yards by Langlo. A little chip shot, and he's right down the middle. So Michigan State has to settle for the field goal. Langlo now, two of three, and it's 13 to seven Michigan State. However, Ohio State has to feel fortunate, Lynn. They're not trading by more than they are. Keeps they have dodged a lot of bullets. Keeps them within striking distance. Snow will return this one. Ohio State trailing 13 to 7. Outside's got some running room. You can see why this freshman is so exciting. He gets out of bounds at the 23. Third down, five yards to go. That's work for number 42 in motion. Two button, and they have to run. And he paid for that one. Number 48, Percy Snow the leading tackler for Michigan State, and Travis Davis, 75 over there, and dropped him. Little delayed handoff to White. White gets a little of the yardage back, but boy, what a costly penalty that was. Virtually 10 yards to go. Tupa back, protection is there. Far side, completion to Higdon, the tight end. Higdon trying to get to the first down marker, won't make it. I hope your mom wasn't watching. That's a terrible haircut, Gary. All right, Steve. 
McAllister scrambling around on first down, reverses direction. He fires complete to Lorenzo White. McAllister on a roll. Got Montgomery and White throwing blocks. He hurdles to the 33-yard line. It'll be a couple of yards short of the first down. Michigan State, they trail early, 7-0 on a 79-yard touchdown pass. Here's McAllister, wide open field on the keeper to the 40, and he's to the 35. The only thing different about this play from the other plays is that he ran them into the short side of the field. This one he takes to the wide side. He got a great block. McAllister, a lot of time. Over the middle, catch is made by Risen, and Risen to the 20, and they pick it up. They get the first down. They needed 20, and they got 24. That shows you the big play capabilities of this guy. It was a terrific pass and a great catch because he catches his ball in his hands on the run. Now watch him as he comes across. That's not an easy catch. He sideways, the ball comes firing in there. He almost drops it, but hangs on to it, and most importantly, picks up that first down. Ohio State making a last-second change defensively. McAllister back, waits for his man rising to clear, end zone, and it's incomplete. So Ohio State has got to be feeling they're very fortunate to be trailing just 13 to 7. This will be the last play of the first half. Tupa will be dropped for a loss all the way back inside the 15-yard line. That's Chris Sunland, the freshman redshirt, number 64, over to make the stop for the Spartans. 13 to 7, our score at the halfway point in favor of Michigan State. We started in the sun of the afternoon here in an autumn day. McAllister giving off to White. White getting some yardage. Way short of the first down. It'll bring up fourth down. He's the 14. And you can see how fired up this Ohio State defense is. Archie Griffin, the only man ever to win the Heisman Trophy twice. Back to throw now on third down, 10 Tupa over the middle. Hits his fullback, Cooper. Cooper will not get the first down. He's dropped at the 48-yard line. McAllister to Lorenzo, and White will be short of the first down. He gets a little operating room out to the 22. Third and 14 for the Buckeyes. Cooper is buried. Travis Davis, number 75, a sophomore out of Warren, Ohio. There he is. They say he's playing like a senior. In fact, George Perlis said he might be playing over his head. Just reminding you that it's an old-time Big Ten football game. Second down, 10. McAllister, and there's a throwback to the other side to Lorenzo White. White, nice sidestep to the 40, 35. Fine piece of running by Lorenzo White. Chris Spielman eventually caught up with him, and that's a first down for Michigan State. Well, Lorenzo White, if you can't give him the football to free him up, run the fake, get everybody wanted to the other side. This is almost like a running play, it's just very controlled passing. What a great move right there by Lorenzo White. 11 yards to go. Blitz coming. McAllister is going to be down. That was a blitz for Mark Pellini, number 48, the safety, who came up the middle. Good reaction that time, and they're going to lose yardage, so they're going to have to get rid of the football. There's Gerd, 49. They Check lined that, up in that, that was Gerd. They lined up in that 46 defense. They brought a lot of people. See Spillman coming in there. Earlier in the season, a lot of the Big Ten teams blitz the quarterbacks. Just inside the 20. Tupa to Higdon, the tight end to the 25, and he dives forward, and he's got the first down. Tupa on the second and eight. He's going to take off. And over there is Derek Reed, and he'll go out of bounds at the 39-yard line, and it'll bring up third down still. Third down, a long three, almost four yards. Play action by Tupa. Pressure coming from Sunland. Tupa's going to have to get out of there. He's in trouble. And he's buried at the 31-yard line. Travis Davis would not give up. They keep it now after the personal foul. Automatic first down out to the 42. Here's Ezor again. Blake Ezor across the 50 to the 49. Ezor out of Las Vegas. Third down and about uh, eight yards to go. Back to throw. McAllister sprinting out in trouble. Giving a lot of ground, and he's going to lose it all the way inside the 35. Ray Jackson, number 47. And that was just not very well advised by McAllister giving up that much ground, trying to get away. Well, he, he looked at that defensive 
formation. They lined up in that 46. Everybody was there. He's looking downfield. Obviously, he's been told, hang in that pocket, make the throw, don't be so quick to run. Third and five now for Ohio State. Tuka to Higdon, and Higdon got the first down. Motion on a third and ten. Tupa, and there he is again, number 88, Alex Higdon. That's his sixth catch of the day, and it's a first down. As I told you, key to the success of both teams this afternoon would be in the passing game, a controlled passing game coming up with the big plays. How big a play is this? Third down, you need the 10 yards. He picks it up, just crossing midfield. Up now. Second down, less than a yard, and we're going to have a reverse. A and the pitch pass. back to Tupa. Tupa can't find anybody. He can run for the first down, and he's got the first down, and he's out of bounds. Ohio State using their second timeout. They have one remaining. Tom Tupa, play action fake. Pressure from Travis Davis, and down he goes. Davis has been everywhere tonight. Big sack. Back to throw. On target to Cooper. Cooper to the 35, but way short of the first down, obviously. Well, Ezor is a quality player, and here he comes again. Look at this run. That'll be a first down. Blake Ezor, seven carries, 38 yards. Second down, seven. Here he goes again. And he's just running through arms right now, and he looks like he has another first down. Well, all he's doing is taking advantage of exactly what the defense is giving him. Third down, virtually 10 to go. Ezor, and he's going to be short of the first down, but he picks up some good yardage to the 37-yard line of Ohio State. Ohio State going down a huddle. Second down, 10. Fry again from the end zone. He's in trouble. Dropped from behind, and coming from the backside is Mark Nichols. Fry again from the end zone. Travis Davis has got him. Boy, Davis has played an outstanding game. Number 75. 50 seconds to go, and picking up some yardage, McAllister. Maybe he knows he was elected MVP. He's going to add to his total. Here's McAllister just trying to kill as much time as he can. No timeouts left for Ohio State. So this one will end. And Michigan State coming back here for the first time since 83. George Perlis beating Ohio State for the first time. And Earl Bruce losing for the first time to a Michigan State team. Congratulations to the Spartans. Also to Nick Vista, who's retiring as a sports information director at Michigan State, and Marv Holman, also for Ohio State. Two fine gentlemen who have been in this league a long, long time. Be retiring at the end of this year. 13 to 7 the score for Steve Alvarez and Liam Swan. This is Gary Bender saying so long from Ohio Stadium.